Hey, what's going on guys? Petey here. So today we're going to be going over the new officers that just came on sale for this week. So starting off with ABC. So this guy gives you some HP, some move, and some load percentage to uh, transport ships. Um, he could be used for running like Isles map um, whenever you're trying to transport into middle cities or something like that before you get gigs out. So he could be pretty solid, but for the most part, if you're not running Navy or you don't, um, if you're trying to save some money, I wouldn't pick him up. Moving along, we have Kirill. So this guy is applicable to sniper towers and turrets. He gives plus 17% to infantry, plus 30% versus vehicle, HP plus 5%, and then sight plus 17%. Um, I don't see a big use out of this guy. He could be used in the beginning fields if you're fighting like 1v1 with somebody and they're and they're pushing through your farms and stuff. But um, no, not not even not even because if they have stugs, your your towers and turrets are going to go down. Um, pretty quick and they're mainly going to be shooting light tanks. I don't know. This guy could be good I'm not going to pick him up if you if you want to get him go on ahead uh, Next we have good old Abe Abrams So this guy I recommend to everybody he gives plus 10% if you're in enemy territory to all of your units uh, The big one is move, but you get them across the board uh, really really great pickup. I think he's $40, but if you have already maxed out your army, um, this is a guy that you should definitely look at getting. Forty dollars and the plus ten percent to everybody, so that's that's a really big deal. Um, next up, we have Lucky. So this is applicable to commandos. I think this is the only commando officer, so he could be uh, used if you're using commandos and you like using commandos, like you mix them in with your army. You should definitely pick this guy up. Um, very good bonuses for commandos. Next we have William Slim. I talk crap about this guy every single like unit breakdown video I do. He's pretty horrible. Ten dollars just to get a couple for, for ground units. Like this ammo max for bombers would be like a, an extra minute or two which would be cool but um, that doesn't even apply to air units so this guy is a no-go unless you find some reason for him. Next up I have Tartar, he gives you versus aircraft plus 25%, HP, and then sight. This guy's really good for scouts. Um, if you're running an alt, I highly recommend this guy. If you run airmen, I mix him in with my army occasionally. And like say if I, if I have my two fighters, I'll have Zeus or um, Henry H. Arnold. I'll have uh, whatever bomber I'm running and then either this guy or I'll have uh, Abrams depending on where I'm fighting so he's okay if you're running an alt that runs scouts scout swarms and stuff this is a definite pickup next we have William Nudson so this is the big bad boy of uh, cannoneer for running M40s he gives you 10% uh, HP plus 17% move some ammo the main thing here is the HP so if you're trying to max out your M40s and get your HP up as much as you can and look impressive to everybody. This guy's a pickup, but if not, if you don't care, he really doesn't give you that much bonus. Like 10% HP is like 800 HP. So for $50, 800 HP, I don't know. It's like 40 HP a dollar. So uh, he's a pick him up if you would like, is what I'll put him as. Um, we have this guy, Jerd Vaughn. So Bofors and Whirlies, you get plus 25% HP, you get plus 5% versus aircraft, a little bit of move and a lot of sight. Um, if you like running Bofors or Whirlies, I've seen both of them now. I've been shot down by both of them now. If you like running them, this is the one officer where you can get some bonuses. The biggest one being HP. Like just being able to be bombed with that much more HP is pretty solid. For $30, I wouldn't buy this guy if you're still trying to buy your, your just basic army, unless you have a lot of money. Like if you're still trying to look for officers for you know, just tanks or whatever it is, don't buy them. But if you're uh, mid-maxed and you're looking for little bonuses here and there from these guys, this guy gives a good amount of bonuses. To be able to have an officer to throw on with whirlies is really good. It'll help you survive. 
Um, next we have Maurice. So this guy gives plus 22% to HP, plus 20% to sight, and then he gives you a little bonus load speed. So instead of two minutes to load, it's 50, it's, it's one minute to load. Um, can be useful if you're trying to like run from somebody and load up very fast. Uh, for $15, he falls into the same category where it's like you don't need him, but in some very rare situations, it'd be nice to have him. So take that for what you will. But that's it, guys. Uh, we have the submarine guy. Um, they just actually updated subs from what I saw from a, a line chat. And they made the strike cooldown a little lower, as well as the amount of time it takes to submerge. So this guy may have got more viable. Uh, I'm not sure if... Um, I'm not really sure how good they are. I haven't tested them personally. So take it with a grain of salt. Use the subs, and if you think you think they're good units now, then go ahead and pick this guy up. But that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, stay tuned for next week where we'll analyze the next week's guys. And that's it for me. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. PD out.